Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about how your belief structure drives your ability to achieve your big, big, big goals. Okay, so your belief structure is what causes you to think a certain way and to really perceive the world with a certain lens. This belief structure was programmed when you were very young and is the lens through which you see all opportunities, you see all experiences, all circumstances, all results. It's how you are interpreting everything. You do it through this lens of your belief structure or your paradigms. And when you interpret the world in a particular way, you then have different thoughts and those thoughts cause different feelings and those feelings cause you to act in one way or another. And if you want to act in a way that allows you to achieve your 2020 goals, your big audacious goals, not the sideways or incremental you know, step goals, but the real stretch goals, you actually need to change your belief structure. And first it takes understanding what those beliefs actually are that are running your programming. Okay, that are the programming and they're running. They're running all the time. Okay, so when you do this, when you're able to change your beliefs, big things happen. I just wanna give a couple of examples here because it's so important. I'm gonna use myself as an example in a moment, but I also wanna talk about when you're able to do this, what gets to happen, okay? For me, it meant going from 30 to 90 to 138 in three different years. Those were pretty big leaps, but then in that, that third to fourth year, I went from 138 to 700K. That is changing your belief structure, that that is possible, okay? And I say that to, to let you know it's possible and I've never looked back, okay? Now, this, this is the same for my clients, the ones that go from 188 to 1 1.2. She had to change her belief structure about what was possible. Other clients have gone from getting $34,000 contracts to now getting almost million dollar contracts. Her latest contract was $984,000. Amazing, right? And she's still growing. Is it all peachy keen along the way? No, if you if you were have been listening to all the videos, you will know that I, I recognize that there's always challenges, but none of these women would have gotten to where they are now if they hadn't moved through the challenges. So you have to be okay with the challenges, but you have to move through them and not get stopped. You have to be unstoppable. And the way you do that in, in well, there's many ways to do that, but one fundamental way that you need to, to really recognize and be transparent and honest with yourself about it are the, the beliefs that are driving you. And oftentimes, Women have blind spots about this. You can't see it for yourself because it's so true for you. So here's one that I wanna share from my own life. Growing up, I had a great mother. She was very driven, she was very ambitious, she was always doing lots, and there was always more, more to be done. And I, as a little girl, um, would always think it was my responsibility to help her with this. Now, she encouraged that. She was always calling me over and wanted like instant gratification. Come, let's do this now. Come, do, do this now. And and I would be like, okay, let's go, let's go. But I, I had to drop what I was doing in order to satisfy her needs. Huh, what got programmed there? Now, I made that mean as a little girl, okay, now everything just is, I gave this meaning. I made that mean that in order to have love, and that's where our safety and belonging and security comes from as kids, right? Because we're completely dependent on our parents. To have that love flowing, I had to drop everything and show up for mom, okay? Now the shadow side of this is that if you're running your own business, or you're trying to slay it in corporate, if you drop everything for other people, you'll never get those big things done. You'll never move the needle on the big things in your life and, and reach those audacious goals. You'll keep putting that off and putting other people first or giving them priority. Now again, it's not about not giving um, not helping other people or doing things for other people or or any of that. But if you caught the last video, it's about t bending time around this. What is your time priority on that? 
okay? And so that's a shadow side. Now the positive side to that, because we don't want to see it as completely negative, we want to really use the things how we were brought up and, and, and manipul manipulate them for our benefit, is that I'm very agile. I can, I can adjust very quickly. I can sense what people need and attune to it and, and quickly react and course correct quickly. These are great skills to have when you're going for more. Okay, so I hope this helps. Stay tuned for the next video. I've got a lot more for you. There's a whole methodology to slaying your goals, to really achieving them in a shorter period of time, okay? It's not about someday or later. It's about closing the gap and doing it now. And if you really want to go deeper into this, again, I invite you to join me at the summit. Okay, I'm Amira Alvarez, founder and CEO of The Unstoppable Woman. Mwah! Slay the day. Bye.